Another month means another bullet journal video. This is going to be my May setup of my bullet journal. I'm going to give you a quick flip through of what April looked like and how it ended up being. This was a colourful spread and kind of Easter egg based as well and even though I did like it and I have enjoyed filling it out, I still have yet to find my kind of bullet journal style or aesthetic and I'm just going to be trying something new again this month and I will keep trying new things right up until I find peace, I find bullet journal peace. My theme this month is going to be travel, which is why I went with a mountain and forest theme for my Hello May page. I've kind of stripped everything back and I'm going to be going fairly minimal for this month. I'm only going to be using two colours. One is, well they're both greys, one is a Crayola grey and the other one is just a grey felt tip pen that I had in my collection. For my calendar this month I'm trying a new layout, it's a vertical layout and it's an easy kind of calendar to use if you use your calendar for more one thing, so for me personally I use it for everything to do with my personal life and also for my work life, so I thought I would split it up into two different sections using the same calendar, it just makes it a little bit easier for me to visually see how much I've got going on in the month and how much I've got going on in a week. You could use this for kind of your personal life and your school life or you could use it for you and your children. I just used the two pens to create some lines just on random days, they aren't anywhere in particular. I just wanted to create something else on the page other than just leaving it blank. For my quote page I was definitely inspired by my daughter who was about to leave school in a few weeks and go off to college and the quote says, I don't know where I'm going but I'm going, are you with me? I think this is a really good life quote because you don't always have to have a plan of exactly what you're going to be doing, you just have to know which direction you want to go and that you've got someone that's going to go with you. I think my whole theme this month of travel, adventure and being free and hopeful has definitely been inspired by my daughter because when you leave school you are free to make your own life choices and decisions and it's just the sense of adventure on where your life is going to take you. She is definitely going on an adventure and I'm 100% there with her. The next two pages took a little bit of measuring and kind of drawing out in pencil first to make sure it all fit. But I wanted to track weather for this month, I haven't done that in my bullet journal before. So I just drew some triangles and then I coloured in the tips in the dark grey. And then every day I will just draw a little icon of what the weather is like. I felt that using triangles kind of went with my minimalist travel kind of mountain feel. So that's why I drew the triangles and then I just wrote the dates on with a silver pen. For my mood tracker I drew a simple frame and inside I drew a bunch of mountains. I then took this little ruler and split each mountain up into sections and then when I knew there were 31 sections, one for each day, I just drew my little key. I drew some little icons at the bottom of my weather page just so you can see what kind of icons I'll be drawing and then I filled out my key for my mood tracker. I decided not to use lots of colours and sticking within my two colour scheme for this month I just decided to do different patterns in the same grey. For my weekly spreads I'm doing something totally different, I'm going to be doing something called barn doors. A lot of people may panic in a minute because I'm going to cut my bullet journal pages but there is a method to the madness and it can look really cool once you've filled it all out. I'm measuring it up from the bottom 8 squares up because this is going to be my habit tracker so you need to figure out how many habits you're tracking before you cut your pages. Once I've counted 8 squares up I just put a little dot and then draw a line so I know where to cut the page. Once I've cut the bottom of the page off I've done the same with the following page and you should have two pages that are shorter like this. Then take each page one at a time and fold them in half. You want to make sure when you're folding them it doesn't go right into the middle or crease of your bullet journal. You want to leave a little bit of a gap and that way it's not going to get caught 
or messed up when you are turning the pages. So I want to create my calendar up in the top left like I normally do and to make sure it's not covered up by these smaller pages I'm just marking where the page lands so it won't cover up the calendar. Nothing fancy about this calendar I'm just filling it all out and then once I've finished I drew a box around it and made a little drop shadow with the darker grey. I'm just checking that it doesn't cover it up when I open it. I want to create another box on this page here so I'm making it a little bit smaller than the folded page that we just made and that way when it's open you won't see this box under it. This is going to be my notes section but you can label and use these for anything that you want to do. I took my grey pen and added a few little lines and then I went and labelled these as my days of the week and as May the 1st is a Tuesday I decided to start my week on a Tuesday. So each folded little section will then become a day of the week. I've also added a little to do which will be my master to do for the week. I wanted an area to have for a brain dump so again I drew another little box that will be hidden when the page is open and just write down brain dump and a section for work. I hope all of this is making sense, I'm not the best at explaining things but hopefully just watching me do it you may pick up how to create it yourself. I'm going to be doing a sleep tracker as well this month. If you're not sure how to use a sleep tracker, you just mark down the time that you went to bed until the time that you woke up and you'll be able to see how many hours of sleep each night that you get. So I actually messed up a little bit here. I made a mood tracker and then I realised I've already got a mood tracker, I just drew one literally 10 minutes ago which is right here. I labelled this one mood tracker as I was there anyway and to kind of mix it in a little bit because I didn't want to rip out this page or try and cover it up, I just drew another little space scene at the, at the bottom. But at least you guys can see that you can definitely have a mood tracker each week and you don't need to have a big main mood tracker for the whole entire month. So I'm just creating my next week's spread again, I'm doing exactly the same thing, I'm taking the next two pages and trimming them down. I also decided to trim the tops of these as well, just to make the boxes or the pages a little bit smaller. So doing exactly the same thing again, I'm folding them in half. I've done my little calendar at the top exactly the same and my sleep tracker exactly the same and then I'm just labelling all of the boxes. I decided to create another box at the top which would be my goals for the week and another little box which is for my work. You can draw as many boxes as you want and label them as you want, it depends if you like having little sections to fill things out or if you just like one big main spread to hold everything together. For my next week I drew another calendar and sleep tracker and again with the barn doors, this time I'm just drawing frames around each little section and just labelling them my days of the week. I wanted to introduce a quote so I just drew a box and filled everything in with the dark grey. I then wrote with my white gel pen and the S and H I actually drew in my silver pen which means that you can only see the S and H when the light hits it. I created another section for my orders, I also drew a box to write down my to buy for the week and then lastly I put down at the bottom a next week section. So I'm actually going to leave the weekly spreads here because it was getting quite late when I was filming this but I'm just going to show you how to do the habit tracker. So I wrote the dates along the bottom and then I'm just listing all of the habits that I want to track. This way I can see my habit tracker throughout the whole entire month without flipping back and trying to find which page it was on. I took my dark grey pen and just outlined everything before using my silver pen to draw some lines. I think this is my favourite spread in my bullet journal so far. I'm not sure if it's because I've just toned everything down a little and only went with two colours or if it's just because I'm trying so many new things, it's just exciting. Lastly I went back and just filled in some of my dates on my calendar. I took my white gel pen and also went through the whole entire spread and added little accents of white to the grey. 
I circled any important dates on each week so I knew what was coming up. And here's a little flip through of my bullet journal for May. I hope you guys have enjoyed this bullet journal video, if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope everyone's having a really lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye guys!